Hello friends! In this video, we'll show you some interesting animals that are the last of their kind. Let's take a look at these rarest, unique species, learn a few interesting facts about them, and figure out why they are on the verge of extinction. You will see unusual marine dwellers, the number of which doesn't exceed 10 specimens, learn about an incredible animal that scientists have only seen once, and also get acquainted with beautiful rhinos that are going through the last years in their history. Sumatran rhinos. Today, the number of these prehistoric animals is very small. In some Asian countries, you can even use your fingers to count them. Sumatran rhinos are the smallest and rarest of all rhino species. All parts of this animal's body have been highly valued for their presumed ability to increase sexual activity. The animal still pays for these human prejudices with its own life. This animal's habitat used to be quite extensive, but now these unique animals can only be found in small areas and their numbers rarely exceed 30 individuals. They can be found in the following places. Thailand, about six rhinos. Cambodia, about 10. Malaysia, from 10 to 30. Kalimantan, no more than 30. Burma, 10 to 20 individuals in special protected reserves and the island of Sumatra, where there are the most of them, 60 rhinos. Sumatran rhinos are good-natured but rather shy animals. They prefer to live on their own or in pairs, which most often consists of a female and a cub. The animals are very fond of water and swim well, so they choose their habitat near water bodies. Rhinos also enjoy splashing in huge mud baths. They feed on leaves, twigs, bamboo shoots, and sometimes fruits. The Sumatran rhino's special feature is having two horns. The front horn is much larger than the other one, which may generally look like a small bump on the nose. The big horn grows up to 15 to 45 centimeters. Females also have horns, although much smaller and less noticeable ones. It is because of the medicinal properties of these horns that Sumatran rhinos have been hunted. The Chinese are ready to give any amount of money for a rhino horn. For reference, the cost of one kilo of rhino horns on the black market in Southeast Asia is about $60,000 and is even higher in some places. The main buyers come from China, South Korea, and Taiwan. The endemic Vaquita harbor porpoise lives in the northern part of the Gulf of California. The species was discovered only in the 50s since they used to be attributed to the rest of the porpoise family due to their appearance. The name Vaquita is translated from Spanish as a small cow. While ordinary porpoises grow to 2 meters on average, the California endemic is smaller, no more than 150 centimeters in length, with a maximum weight of only 50 kilograms. In 1997, scientists managed to calculate the average number of the vaquita population, about 600 individuals, and the species was classified as critically endangered. Unfortunately, attempts to save the situation failed. By 2016, the number of vaquitas did not exceed three dozen. Poacher fishermen are to blame for this. In an attempt to catch the forbidden totoaba fish, they set up nets in which porpoises perish. Another hazard is the water quality because large quantities of chlorine-containing pesticides enter the Gulf of California. And finally, due to the small size of the population, animals resort to closely related crossbreeding which leads to health deterioration in the following generations. This led to the fact that the last 30 individuals had no chance of survival. And conservationists devised a risky plan to relocate them to a safe environment. Unfortunately, it was not possible to implement. The vaquitas remained in their usual place, while their ranks continued to thin out. According to the latest estimate based on acoustic data, between 6 and 22 unique porpoises lived in the Gulf of California during the summer. After analyzing the materials in more detail, the scientists agreed that 10 individuals remained alive and according to some reports, there were no more than 5 of them. Four years ago, biologists surprised the world by discovering a new species of great apes, the Tabanuli orangutan. 
Computer simulations help scientists find out that Tapa Nuli were isolated from two other orangutan species for about 20,000 years. However, it immediately became clear that the new species was endangered. Research now shows that the Tapanuli orangutans are even more at risk from deforestation than it was previously thought. A small population of only about 800 specimens live in the forest of North Sumatra in Indonesia. Currently, Tapanuli orangutans live in an area of about 1,000 square kilometers of mountain forest. According to researchers, this is only 2.5% of the 40,796 square kilometers which these great apes occupied 130 years ago. However, nowadays even their new, uncomfortable and small territory is under threat. In 2017, the Indonesian authorities already discussed a project for the construction of a hydroelectric power plant on the Bitang Toro River, which flows through the orangutan habitat. According to a study published back in 2018 in the current biology journal, the dam would reduce the range of the species by 8% and fracture the population. This would inevitably lead to inbreeding, closely related crossing, and degeneration of the species. The Ottenboro echidna is the rarest animal in the world and the smaller species of the oviparous echidnas. This species lives in New Guinea. During the day, the animal spends time in a burrow and at night, it goes in search of food. The species was named after director and TV presenter David Attenborough. This species is known only from a single specimen, which was discovered in 1961. Since then, Attenborough has never been found. According to some studies, this species became completely extinct around 2005. And here is another amazing creature. Have you ever seen such an animal? Do you know what it is? Right. This is just a toy that you can buy online. Our videos, however, feature only real animals and stories. Wild Bactrian Camel This animal has not one hump, like its Arab relative, but two of them. Their function is just the same, fat accumulation. Its habitat is arid plains and hills, with few water sources and very scarce vegetation. Shrubs are the main source of food. These habitats have a wide range of temperatures, ranging from 40 to 50 degrees Celsius in summer and down to negative 30 degrees Celsius in winter. Wild Bactrian camels travel long distances in search of water in places close to mountains where there are springs, and the snow-covered hilltops provide them humidity in winter. Who would have believed that there are approximately 650 of them left in the world? It's assumed that in another 10 to 20 years, there will be none. They are hunted. They lose habitats because of construction works. Finally, they simply interbreed with domestic camels and it makes their offspring sterile. Humans have settled on Earth over the past 50,000 years. While countless species had disappeared before we emerged, so it would be unfair to blame Homo sapiens for the extinction of most of the flora and fauna. Nevertheless, scientists agree that we have managed to cause considerable damage to biodiversity in our short time on the planet. Man has depleted entire populations of animals by uncontrolled hunting and fishing, contributed to or even caused global climate change, occupied and polluted the natural habitats of wild animals. A lot of harm has been done by the accelerated species migration because of human activity. So, that's all for today, everybody. Be sure to share your thoughts on today's video in the comments. Give us a thumbs up and share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.